This video is the second installment in the Flight Riot UAV Mapping Post-Processing Tutorials. This tutorial covers using the outputs from the first tutorial as inputs to CMPMVS and MeshLab. This tutorial will show you how to create orthomosaic images, digital surface models, and 3D visualizations such as those seen in high-end photogrammetry software packages. We'll start by opening the point cloud generated from tutorial number one in Visual SFM. Go to the SFM menu and click Load NView Match. Select the NVM file from your previous Visual SFM project. The images will proceed to load and you will see your point cloud with the perspective images from the previous tutorial. You can also turn on the dense 3D point cloud that was created by going to the view menu and clicking dense 3D points. This data is from the first tutorial from the Bay Park dataset. We now need to save the Visual SFM outputs in a format that can be read by CMPMVS. To do this, click on the CMVS button in Visual SFM. In the Windows dialog box, under Save as Type, select the bottom option. The file extension type for the bottom option is .cmp. Provide a name for the file and click Save. CMPMVS will be run from the command line. First, we'll need to navigate to the directory where CMPMVS resides. In this tutorial, I'm using version 0.60. Based on the file name that you gave when you exported the CMP file from Visual SFM, you'll see a folder with an extension .cmp. Within the .cmp folder, you'll see another folder with two zeros, and within that folder, you'll see a file called mvs.ini. This is the file that CMPMVS will need to access to run its processes. If you navigate back to the CMPMVS software folder, there are important readme files that I suggest you take a look at. Uh, for example, if you want to reduce the amount of time it takes to run the processes, you can eliminate the videos that are generated. It's easy to use Window Explorer to copy the directory path into the DOS prompt. So far, we've navigated to the CMPMVS software folder. We've entered CMPMVS.exe, a space, and then the directory path to where the mvs.ini file resides. If you want to add an option at the end, leave a space and then enter the option, such as do generate video. In this case, I'll keep it true and hit enter. The process begins. There are a multitude of outputs from CMP MVS. Here's an example from the Southern Down dataset which we'll look at later in 3D and MeshLab. This actually is a beautiful example for 3D purposes because of the exaggerated relief. Here's an example of the DEM output. This is from the Bay Park dataset. But you can see the relief difference between the water and the vegetation on the ground. Here's an ortho mosaic from the same Bay Park dataset. Here's an example of one of the video outputs that combines all four videos that CMPMVS automatically generates, unless you tell it not to. There are a lot of files generated. If you go into the temporary directory and the video folder, you will find each individual video that makes up the four framed video that we just looked at. Now let's take a look at the CMPMVS outputs in MeshLab. 
In MeshLab, go to File, Import Mesh. Navigate to the CMP MVS Out folder. Select the Mesh AVIMG COL file and hit Open. First is the Bay Park dataset. This is an ortho mosaic of 242 images presented in 3D based on the dense point cloud generated in Visual SFM. Next is the Southern Downs dataset. This dataset is very pleasing to look at in MeshLab. I think that if there was a little bit more coverage in the photos, this would be an absolutely perfect representation of this coastline. And its dramatic relief makes it a very nice subject for this work. Also, the architectural remnants that you can see on top of the hill are very interesting to look at. As always, I hope this tutorial has helped you. Come join us at flightriot.com.